everyone, my name is Saxival and welcome back to another tutorial episode and today I'm going to show you my own version on how to make eye zoom transition using Final Cut Pro. So if you like this kind of content, do not forget to like and subscribe. So let's get into it. So okay, once we're here in Final Cut Pro timeline, you need to have a macro shot of the eye and the second clip that what is available for you. But don't worry if you don't have this kind of clip, I will add the link in the description below. So first things first, what we're gonna do is to slow down the macro shot. So select, open the retiming option, select slow to 50%. Then next is to bring this second shot underneath the macro shot. Then after that, select back the top clip, then open FX browser, and then search for a shape mask. Put it into the top clip. And then now, what we're gonna do is open the inspector, and there you go. Here is our shape mask tools. So what we're gonna do now is change the curvature to 100% and invert mask check this box and in view change it to original for now and then here is we need to adjust the radius of the shape mask and also we can resize in the display by dragging the screen dot according to the shape of the eye so once you've done that uh, go to shape mask again choose the view to composite and by the way don't forget to adjust the feather if you need to now if we play back as you can see the shape mask is not following the movement of the eye so what we're gonna do here is we need to add a keyframe on the shape mask so bring the playhead to the starting point and then position the shape mask into the center of the eye then go back to shape mask tools and in transform parameter right click and add keyframe okay so now we need to move frame by frame to the right and press the right arrow key on your keyboard. Then count every 5 frames, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and readjust the mask back to the center of the eye and do it until the end of the macro shot. So yeah, we are finished on the keyframe. Let me show you what we got. So now it follows the movement of the eye. So here we have a little bit problem when the eyes begin to close, the shape mask is still visible. So what we need to do is look for the frame where the eye is about to close, so right around here. What you need to do is go to fill opacity and add a keyframe on it. And then continue pressing the right R key. Then when the eye starts to close, drop the opacity slowly to the left. Okay. And when the eye is fully closed, bring it all the way to zero. And then continue press the right R key and where the eye starts to open, go back to fill opacity and add again a uh, keyframe. And then press the right R key again. And then right here when the eye starts open, slowly bring the opacity to back to the right. So right about just like this and when the eye is fully opened bring it all the way to 100% okay so let me show you so there you go problems fixed so next what we're gonna do is we need to zoom in the eye all the way to reveal the second shot so to do that this time find a frame where the eye is fully opened so just about this frame and look for a transform then under scale parameter add keyframe on it and then start counting 20 frames from here so 1 2 3 4 18 19 20 so 20 frames and change the scale number to the highest possible so that it's fully zoom in okay so i will change it to 4000 right like that so let me show you all right we are finished in the macro shot so what we're gonna do select the second shot here 
and we need to change the opacity because as you can see it's too bright for me so i will change it to about 50 percent so what we're gonna do now is to zoom in a little bit the second shot so that it will compensate when the eye is fully zooming in so what we're gonna do find where the eye starts zooming in so right here and add a keyframe in scale okay and as well the opacity add a keyframe in it after you add a keyframe in the scale and opacity you can start counting 10 frames now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and go back to transform change it to 200 and then in opacity bring this one all the way to 100 percent so let me show you what we got here again so you see it the second shot zoom a little bit and add a really nice transition to this effect and that is it there you go that is the simple way to make the eye zoom transition so if you have questions or suggestions comment below and i will get back to you as soon as possible anyway i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching and i will see you again in the next one